welcome this week's edition of the St. John Patch Coaches Forum. I'm here with Dave Falco in the lobby at St. John North High School. How are you doing, Coach? Doing great. How are you? Good. Big playoff win. You tied the school record for most points in the playoff game, 42-14 over Brentwood. Talk about that victory. Uh, you know, it was a great win for us. Anytime you win a playoff game, it's a special thing for your kids and your program. Uh, you know, one versus eight is a scary game. Because you have played them during the year. They did have some struggles, frankly, during the year. But I think our kids came to play, so it was a nice time. A balanced attack. Of course, you ran the ball mostly. Uh, who do you think stood out for the team? You know, I think the group that's, that keeps standing out that doesn't get a lot of press is our offensive line. Uh, we have great running backs, but the great running backs would not be as successful without Timmy Lang James Thompson and uh, Tita and Starling uh, and McDonald, the guy that they're really doing an excellent job for us so far. There was some drama in the fourth quarter about who was scoring and who had a first team and second team out. Can you talk about that from a coach perspective? You no, know, from our perspective and philosophy, uh, once we have a lead in the third quarter that big that we had this weekend, uh, we'd like to put our seconds in, and, and we did that. He, he chose to keep his first in. They wound up scoring two scores against us, and, uh, and I felt at that point that that was enough. We were not going to let it go to 21. And we put our first back in, which would score against his seconds. Uh, you know, that, that, that happens sometimes. And really, I like to coach our guys, let, let those coaches coach their guys, and they'll make decisions based on that. Northport this week, you already played once in the regular season. They held you to 28 points, which is the lowest amount of points you scored in the game. Talk about what you can expect this weekend. You no, know, I think the thing that stands out about our first game is that we put the ball on the ground five times. They only had one recovery, but those five times really set us back and got us off schedule offensively. Uh, you know, our kids have talked about that this is the team that held us to the fewest points, 28. Uh, you know, that's something that we're looking to uh, do a much better job with. Uh, I think that Northport is a much improved team. They were one and four at the time. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're a five and four team, but they lost to Connectwalk by 40. They beat Connectwalk this past weekend. They're definitely a much improved team, so that's what we're looking for. On the Northport Patch site, the sister site to St. John Patch, uh, it says that Northport can potentially beat St. John. It's definitely great locker room bulletin board material. Have you spoken to the team about this? No, we did speak to our team about it, but we really try to focus on our own team uh, and what we do as St. John, and not so much what other teams say or what other teams do. Uh, I think the thing that, that they said was right. If Northport doesn't turn the ball over and if Northport is more physical than us, then I think we're going to be in some trouble. But our thing is play hard, play smart, play together, and never be. Less physical than the ball, so that's the point. All right, we'll find out what happens on Friday night. You can catch our live blog on Sage and Patch, which starts at 6 p.m. Remember, Sage and Patch is your exclusive home for Sage football coverage. Stay classy, Sage and Patch.